Hello dear students this is your guide and mentor for organic chemistry and today we are going to see the tests for phenols instead of just understanding it theoretically let us let us see it practically and see how these tests are and what are the color reactions that are there to prove the presence of phenols okay so let us start with the four tests the four tests that we are going to study today one is solubility test the second one will be ferric chloride test the third one that we are going to study will be liberman test and the fourth one is called as bromine water test let us go in for the first test that is solubility of phenol and understand why few solvents phenol is soluble and why in few solvents phenol is not soluble so let us take our first first test that is the solubility test what are we going to do here we are going to take phenol right and we are going to take phenol and we are going to treat with sodium bicarbonate take a small quantity of the sample of phenol then to this add sodium bicarbonate see have a look at this it is insoluble it is not soluble see it will form a separate layer of sodium bicarbonate and phenol it is not soluble right we will explain why it is not soluble with sodium bicarbonate see as we have already mentioned that it is a weak acid it can only react with strong bases and sodium bicarbonate is a weak base hence it is not soluble in sodium bicarbonate see have a look at this the separation of two layers you can see and this says that it is not soluble correct right now the same phenol will be very easily and very nicely soluble in naoh let us have a look at the solubility of phenol in naoh this is phenol again i am taking a small quantity of phenol and to this i am going to add sodium hydroxide which is a strong base now have a look at this it is yes it is very easily soluble soluble matlab kya ho raha hai yahan par phenol is reacting as an acid is reacting with with base naoh and together they are forming a salt together they are forming a salt and the salt you know just a namak very easily soluble this salt is soluble and and there is no separation to jab aap naoh ke sath dalenge you will get soluble the product will be soluble whereas if you use any sodium bicarbonate then it will give you insoluble product this is about your ferric chloride uh, this is about your solubility test now let us move on to the second test for phenols that is the the test with ferric chloride the test with ferric chloride this is a classic test for phenol most important test i would say for phenol and what are we going to do here it's just simply take a small quantity of phenol the purpose is because of covid you may not be able to see it in the lab so what we are doing is we are showing it to you here right this is your phenol and you add ferric chloride to this then see what will happen see this type of color reaction occurs and you can get a red you can get a green or you can get a black color right see have a look you can should look at the wall to see the color well the, the uh, it is a greenish black color red green and black at times the color may vary also but such a color reaction is a characteristic test for phenols correct so this is see it is a dark green to black color this is how phenol reacts with ferric chloride to give you this color now let us go in for the third reaction which is called as the liberman test for phenols what are we going to do here in liberman test for phenols we are going to take small very small quantity of phenol see have a look at this a very small quantity of phenol right 
and to this you will add a very very small quantity of concentrated sulfuric acid you will be adding a very small quantity of you should be handling concentrated sulfuric acid with a lot of care a very small quantity of concentrated sulfuric acid you should be adding a very small quantity of concentrated sulfuric acid and to this you will add sodium nitrate see again a black precipitate appears this is the test of phenol which is called as liberman test wherein you have added phenol concentrated sulfuric acid and sodium nitrate and you see that a black color intense blue green or black color appears see see at times what happens literature writes that blue or green but this color looks to you like purple this happens with color reactions and by experimenting by doing it again and again you know that this reaction is shown by phenols only and see you get a purple color at times you will see ki resorcinol is also a phenol cresol is also a phenol to kabhi kabhi resorcinol will give you a different shade cresol will give you a different shade but such a color reaction is seen matlab phenols hai correct so this is about the liberman test and let us go on for the last test of phenol which is which is the test with bromine water so now let me take brom phenol first of course again a small quantity of phenol it's not important for a qualitative test that you you measure the quantity you just can take a small quantity and to this you will be adding what you will be adding excess of bromine water एक्सेस मतलब थोड़ा रिक्वायरमेंट से ज्यादा इतना कि उसमें येलो कलर दिखे आप देखो मेरे को एक येलो का शेड दिख रहा ऐसा मैं क्यों करती हूँ वेल चलिए सी वट आई एम डूइंग इज आई एम शेक इट वेल एंड आई विल बी सींग सी वेन आई एम डूइंग इट लाइक दिस आई एम शेकिंग इट वेल वट आई एम डूइंग इज आई एम गेटिंग अ वाइट कलर प्रेसिपिटेट आई एम गोट गेट अ वाइट कलर प्रेसिपिटेट See, have a look at this. I am getting a white color precipitate, yellowish white color precipitate is formed, right? Now, what is the explanation for this? Bromine. See, we know that benzene undergoes bromination, and when OH group is present on phenol, when OH group is present on phenol, then it acts as an activator, and the reaction is very fast. The reaction is very fast. So, when you add simple phenol with 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 excess of bromine, suddenly you can get what two, four, six tri bromo phenol. That's very easily that you can get. But हमको करना क्या है सिर्फ bromine को excess में डालना है. आपको देख रहे हैं यहाँ पर हमने कोई temperature use नहीं किया, कोई extra effort नहीं लिया. That again proves that phenol is an activator, and so you get a white color PPT like this. So this is called as the bromine water test for phenols. these are the four chemical tests for identification of phenol and we can also find out phenols by use of uv spectrophotometric methods or by ir or by such other spectroscopic methods but since we are students of organic chemistry we saw the chemical methods for phenols i'll be giving you more demonstration practicals very soon depending on the theory subjects that we are talk we are talking about don't forget to like share and subscribe this video keep watching